Hey everyone, just want to do a quick little uh, kind of spotlight on a controller I just finished. So this is a, what was originally a Mad Cats Street Fighter 4 Xbox 360 fight pad. I'll put a picture up of what it used to look like. So uh, this was sitting up in my attic, kind of just gathering dust, and um, I kind of actually forgot about it. And I was digging through some stuff and I found it and thought, well... Let's uh, use this uh, opportunity to learn some new techniques and stuff for doing mods and art more on the artistic side of things. So one of the things I've always really wanted to learn to use was water slide decals. Um, I've used them before, like when I was younger, when I built like model cars and stuff for like you would, you would get a bunch for like license plates and pinstripes and stuff. But um, I've never actually printed my own out and used them on my own. They're a little more complicated than the ones you get with models and stuff. So I wanted to learn that and I wanted to try my my hand at some freehand um, with, with a paint marker like this guy right here. So um, so I you know I just took the took the opportunity with an old controller that I'm not using anymore to make it kind of a you know like a kind of like an art project I guess. It works great it's a good it's a good pad. It's good for like uh kind of like retro games and stuff. Like if you hook it up to, you know, your computer and play it with like emulators and stuff. It's not bad with actual fighting games either. But you know, if you have a fight stick, then it's obviously not as good as that. But um <clears throat> so I'll kind of go over some of the things I did. Obviously this is a vaporwave inspired design or aesthetic. It's kind of vaporwave light. Vaporwave art an art style as as it is is a little bit more busy than this and I wanted to originally to have more stuff on it but the water slide decals were giving me a pretty hard time so what you see is kind of what you get so like the moon man is a uh, if you don't know uh first off if you don't know what vaporwave is it's like kind of an art style slash music style it's kind of weird but funky uh, I like it it's pretty cool um it's weird definitely but um it's it brings back a lot of nostalgia for me from because I kind of grew up in the 90s so so there's uh, a lot of the water slide decals I used um Turned out pretty good. Uh, there's definitely a trick to them, um, but uh, I might go over that in a future video if I decide to use them again, which I probably will. And then also I wanted to try my hand at some free handing. As you can see, um, I went around each button with the pink marker. Uh, didn't it turn out great? I'm not actually too happy with it. Um, the turbo button is actually really bad. I'm really kind of disappointed in how that turned out. Um, that's not too bad. This The ring around the D-pad, and then I did like that and then up here um so the moon man is a old mcdonald's kind of mascot for their late night food um kind of funky but uh saint pepsi slash skylar spence who's a um uh, is an artist or a musician um used some of the old footage in one of his music videos uh for one of his songs and i I like it. Um, this is the old Mad Cats logo from the 90s slash probably early 2000s. I kind of funk made it funky and uh, vapor wavy and with the colors and stuff. All this so it did in Photoshop. Um, I actually took the controller and scanned it in a scanner and put a ruler next to it to, so I can get the dimensions of everything. And then I could lay the controller out art style wise. And then I printed all these out on decal paper and bada boom. But um so also I couldn't do a mod without doing some some unnecessary uh adding of lights and LEDs or yeah so let me uh turn this off and uh yeah as you can see I've added a couple LEDs in here um for some reason the RB button's not lighting up very well um I might have to open it up and look into it but um it actually looks a lot brighter on the camera than it does in real life too. It's not very bright in uh, in real life, but it's pretty cool. Um, it works really well still, and it, and the the clear coat I used is like a semi gloss, and it's like got this kind of textured grip, and I really like it actually. It's pretty nice. So, but yeah, I painted all the uh, the D pad and the start and select and the trigger buttons. I didn't paint these. I probably could have, but I like them the way they are. But anyways. So, anyways, that was it. Um, just a real quick video. I was going to originally do like a whole build video and stuff, but there's nothing really interesting or unique that I did terribly. So, I just wanted to kind of show it off. Um, 
I might, you know, if anyone has any questions about water slide decals and stuff, I can try to answer them. I might make a video about it later, but, um, yeah, but that's about it. I didn't paint the back because of this rubberized coating and you can't really paint that. So unfortunately the back's going to stay black. Um, I would have been cool to paint it like a dark purple or something. And I might go back and do that actually, if I could just like mask off this rubber coating, which would be kind of tricky, but, um, but yeah, so that's it. Uh, if anyone has any questions about anything, just uh, go ahead and shoot a comment. But thanks for watching. Bye.